Stability between the mind and the body is what many strive for. This stability is even more important to those impacted by war, PTSD, and trauma. Veterans. For the 22 and Warriors to Waves uses Michigan's beautiful lakes as a way to cope with the emotional and physical toll war has brought upon them. Uh, so I was in the Navy myself. Um, while I was in, we lost six of my buddies to suicide. I served in uh, the Marines. My crew, I would say, um, started to um, commit suicide. About 22 veterans commit suicide each day, and Matthew and Josh wanted to know why. How come they were still alive and their fellow veterans were not? The solution? Water therapy. Our biggest thing is we just take veterans out. There's a lot to go with uh, water therapy and just being on the water, blue mind theory, um, and just the community that we build through the process. That's really what got us going down this path. I looked at what impacted my life, how it impacted it, and how I could share that with other people. Paddle boarding and surfing brings a much needed adrenaline rush to veterans in a safe and healthy way. It also calms the mind and allows for veterans to disassociate with all the mental, emotional, and physical problems they are facing. My favorite part would be seeing the faces change as they leave, just watching the transition, um, you know, seeing people smile and having that confidence again. The impact that For the 22 and Warriors to Waves has had on veterans is life-changing and has long-lasting effects. It was just nice and peaceful. The surf community is just kind. So, yeah, it changed my life a lot. Just seeing the impact it had in his, his life by coming out and paddling with us was incredible. If you are um, being a combat wounded veteran myself, uh, there's no shame in the game for seeking help. Words can't explain what the feeling is when you're on the water, you know? We want to share the stoke. <laughs> this has been Vivian Olson with Beyond the Rock, signing off.